creating polynomial equations. To create polynomial equation, given the zeros or roots, we simply change our zeros or roots into factored form. Let us have examples. The given roots are 0, negative 1, and negative 3. So from our given roots or zeros, this is equal to x equals 0, x equals negative 1, and x equals negative 3. And then we have to change this into factored form. So we have x. For our negative 1, it is x plus 1. And for our negative 3, we have x plus 3. So the factored form of the given polynomial equation given the roots 0, negative 1, negative 3 is x times x plus 1 times x plus 3 equals 0. From our given factored form, we can change this into its expanded form. We simply multiply the given factors. So for our given x times x plus 1 times x plus 3 equals 0, we will multiply first our x by x plus 1. So our x will be distributed to our x plus 1. So x times x is equal to x squared. And x times 1 is equal to x. And then we copy the remaining factor, which is x plus 3 equals 0. We have here two binomials. So we get the product of these two binomials by simply using the FOIL method. Our first terms are x squared and x. Our outer terms are x squared and 3. Our inner terms are x and x. And our last terms are x and 3. Let us now multiply those terms. x squared times x is equal to x cubed. x squared times 3 is equal to 3x squared. x times x is equal to x squared. And then x times 3 is equal to 3x. Equal 0. Since our given can be still simplified, our 3x squared can be added to x squared, our expanded form of the given equation will be x cubed plus 3x squared plus x squared is equal to 4x squared plus 3x equals 0. So given the root 0, negative 1, and negative 3, its expanded form will be x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x is equal to 0. Let us have another example. The given roots are positive and negative 2, positive and negative 7. So this one is the same as x equals positive 2, x equals negative 2, x equals positive 7, and x equals negative 7. Changing this into factored form, we'll have x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 7 times x plus 7 equals 0. Given the factored form, x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 7 times x minus 7 equals 0, we can now get our expanded form. So we multiply first x plus 2 and x minus 2. As you have noticed, our given here is a product of sum and difference of the same terms. And this one is the same or equal to the difference of the two squares. So let us get first the squares of the given terms. The square of x is x squared, and then we affix minus, and the square of 2 is 4. 
The same thing with our x plus 7 and x minus 7. This is an example again of the product of sum and difference of the same terms. And this is equal to the difference of the two squares. The square of x is x squared minus the square of 7 is 49 equals 0. Now, we have to multiply these two binomial. So again, we use our FOIL method. The first term multiplied by another first term. So x squared times x squared is equal to x to the fourth power. Then x squared times negative 49 is equal to negative 49x squared. Negative 4 times x squared is equal to negative 4x squared. And negative 4 times negative 49 is equal to positive 196 equals 0. And we still have to simplify our negative 49x squared minus 4x squared. Therefore, we have x to the fourth power minus 53x squared plus 196 equals 0. Therefore, the expanded form of the given polynomial equation given the roots positive negative 2 and positive negative 7 is x to the fourth power minus 53x squared plus 196 equals 0.